Uh, Tim Walls' wife, Gwen Walls, did a public thing, and she got completely heckled. Welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. As we watch the Kamala Harris Walls' entire operation fall apart, watch this. And that's what teachers do. We find ways to make a difference. That's what all of you do. And that's why you're here tonight. We believe in each other. We believe in each other. Is this like a disease of the Kamala Harris campaign that's spreading now to Gwen Walls? That's in Georgia. By the way, the guy shouting in the background is going, Trump, Trump, Trump. It gets much worse than that in a minute. We'll show you the rest of that clip. First, here's Michelle Obama selling her overpriced sugar water at Costco. We followed her company. It's called Plezzy. We have a little bit more information on it, but here she is. She got a big Costco deal, making all that dough, but never more than she needs. <laughs> okay, she says it's a healthy drink. She says it's low calorie. It might be low calorie, but I really doubt if it's healthy. Here's what uh, some people have said. This is Colin Rugg on Twitter. New former First Lady Michelle Obama spotted promoting her new drink at Costco. Obama was seen at a Livermore Costco in California. That's big money, big ticket item. Uh, in California, promoting the zero-calorie Plezzy Fizz drink. This is a healthy drink, she was heard saying. Just last month, during the DNC, Obama bragged about how her mother used to tell her that she was, quote, suspicious of folks who took more than they needed, unquote. Obama is the co-founder of a strategic partner of the beverage company. But like I said, I doubt if she's taking more than she needs. You know, she's only worth $3 billion uh, on Twitter. Uh, this drink is diluted juice concentrate with monk fruit. I wouldn't recommend this as a healthy drink. And I'm a registered dietitian, overhyped and overpriced. But let's let Michelle just sell her drink over at Costco. Let's watch real quick. Uh, you know, there's nothing healthier than drinking water, guys. Don't pay for Plezzy. Drink water. And then here's Gwen Walls now. Uh, Tim Walls's vice president nominee, Tim Walls's wife in Georgia getting blasted with a Trump supporter uh, that will eventually escalate to go home, Gwen. We see the potential in one another, and we see the potential for a brighter and a different and a hopeful future that includes all of us. Yes. All I hear is we want Trump. We want Trump. They will. And then in this final segment, he gets up to go home, Gwen. This is says Georgia hates Kamala Harris. So here's the thing. People in Minnesota, you might have heard this thing, Minnesota nice. That were very nice, kind people. Well, Tim and I are, I hope we try to be. But here's what I say. Uh, Minnesotans. They're not nice to uh, babies born on the birthing table that want to live. Let's start there. Let's start being nice there. What about parents who want to make certain decisions about their kids without the state getting involved? They're not nice about that either. This Gwen Walls, by the way, is the one who during Black Lives Matter riots, when there was the smell of burning rubber, she rolled down the window of the car, she said, to take it in and smell it so she could enjoy the uh, the riots outside and participate in them in her own little leftist way. What do you guys think of Gwen Walls? Does she have the crazy, giant, bug-eyed... We are turning the page! Democrat Karen Eyes. I'm Doug in exile.